Hey, you I'm Chris here from Production Coaching Civil Earthworks. Uh, today I would like to continue on with my production coaching videos and uh, tips and tricks that um, I've learned along the way and um, just pros and cons on when you're working within a, a fill area. So in discussion on this one here, let's, let's put it as an, uh, a bit of an idea or an example of what's, what's happening here. So, so we've got the uh, compactor operator we're doing bulk earthworks, so we've got a massive area to work with in this example. So as a truck driver, when you're coming in, there's a few things that I want to really highlight that have helped me along the way, and also things that um, can come up that can slow, slow things down and cause that, that more negative uh, communication and negative culture. So I wanted to actually really coach and um, educate the um, the uh, truck operators on things that have um, that I think are, are beneficial within um, in the fill area. So in this case here, let's say this compactor operator has another, let's say, ten trucks coming in behind it throughout a haul circuit. So this operator here is under the pump; he's bulk filling this area in. And some of the key things when you're a truckie is is about actually being, like I always say, smooth as fast and eliminating a lot of these negatives. So today we're going to talk about things that um, are going to prevent downtime and prevent double handling of uh, material because when you start doing that, this operator here, you get very frustrated and it all comes down to uh, when you're operating your, um, your haul truck if you've tipped off in the right, right spot or the wrong spot. So we'll start, I'll get rid of these negatives first because I don't like focusing on the negatives. So some of the key things when coming into a fill area, in this example here, plenty of room like I said, you're coming past the um, compactor operator on the left or right side. Um, and some of the key things to do is actually making sure you get the positive when you're coming past him, and also not belting past him as well. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna be coming into the fill area too, too fast because you can overshoot it, and I'll discuss that in a, in a short while. So we don't wanna rush into it, and another one, we also definitely don't want to exceed the plant limits. So obviously, if you're in a tip, tip area and you're, you're tipping off and you've got the machine on a very awkward and terrible angle, and your, your gut instinct's saying, hmm, maybe not, that's a, that's a clear indication that you should actually reposition yourself so you're tipping on more level ground. So let's, let's piss these negatives off. These negatives off, because I don't like focusing on them, but they are there and the key is to try to eliminate them the best I can. So in this case here, when we say coming in smooth is fast, it is, it's obviously just coming in nice and smooth past this operator, and when you're actually bowling off the, um, the fill area, this is where it's key that you're coming in nice and smooth, because you actually wanna roughly be on the, the best level ground as possible, but also you don't wanna be too far forward, well when you tip off, you can create a hole, and I'll show you an example on this in a second. So in this case here, this operator's come in nice and smooth. He's only just gone over the edge. So when he's gonna tip off, that, hypothetically, that bin, let's move him forward a flight here, that bin will come up and his load, his or her load, sorry, will be on the higher ground. So that's a load there. When we talk about that, obviously it's, it's key because this operator here wants to push out and continue on this fill. And if you go too far, if you rush, and you don't come in nice and smooth to the area, you will, more than likely, you could tip off, say hypothetically, here. Because, let's say in this, in this case, you've come in, you've come, you've gone too far, and you've tipped off. This operator here now cannot fill this little void without turning around and pushing it back, or, Pushing what he can, pushing what he can, and then having it uneven and terrible, and that is what can cause the double handling, the uh, the frustration within the communication, and also just the uh, negative culture that happens. Where what I'd love to be able to get rid of this is where a lot of people sometimes think that truckies are just um, uh, brain dead when they're most definitely not. It's about it's about showing them and educating to the point where, as a trucker, you actually roughly know what um, this operator is really searching for within their operator. So that is, a, that is an important key there, is to making sure 
that you're not going in too far. Now that being said, I'm going to do some short videos in the next week or so on compactor operation because I've worked in that as well. And it is also key for a compactor operator to set up the fill area in a, in a positive way for you. So you actually, you are able to tip on level ground. You are able to tip in a way that you, you're not putting the machine in an position and leaving them a hole. So for an example like that, if, if you, let's say we're having a deal of fuel in this. This is the uh, tip area here, and um, it's kind of like that. You're looking down on it, the compactor operator's there. Um, he would like, he would like you to tip around here. So if you were to drop your wheels off, just say there your wheels there, it's not ideal. It's not always ideal because it's not square. So your load could be there, it'd be, it'd be right there, but then you've got a bit of a void there. And that can come down to simply the uh, compactor operator not setting it up the best way possible. So in a case like that, where the operator would like you to pop, drop it there, you're better off to actually have your back wheels up here somewhere. I'll move this correctly. You're better off to have your back wheels up here briefly when you're tipping off. So you're not leaving a hole here and you're dropping it a little bit shorter because the operator is able to push, push out that, that a little bit more. And as an operator of compactor myself as well, I would rather push it that extra meter forward than having to turn the machine around and try to fill a hole. Because it, uh, it slows things down. And like I said, if you've got 10 trucks backing up behind you or coming in as well, you're flat out, you're under the pump. You push out one load and you've got another truck there or two. So smooth is fast when coming into the area. You don't want to rush in past them, you don't want to go too far. It's key that when you're tipping off, you're actually not leaving a hole. Uh, level ground, we roughly discussed that as well. You want to make sure you don't put your machine in an awkward position where you're actually starting to question yourself if you think, could it tip, could it not tip? Definitely don't do that. Uh, in and out is another good one. So roughly when you're coming in, it, it comes down to smooth as fast as well. But once you've tipped off, you don't really want to sit there for a long period of time dropping the bin down and doing paperwork and such. You do have to do that within the operating, but if you can and you are on level ground, go that extra metre or so forward a bit more, come to a complete stop, drop your bin in gear and move on. So it is, it is about being smooth and fast because this operator here might be wanting to push out behind you. And obviously the follow the procedures, and like I roughly said there, a lot of procedures these days will most definitely say do not drive off or turn corners while lowering your bin on the way. A lot of the times they'll want you to bring the machine to a complete stop, lower your bin and then move on. And also the same with uh, tipping off. They will want to make sure that you're tipping on the best level ground as possible and not putting your machine in an awkward position where you could roll it or create an incident for yourself. So that's just a short video that I found has, uh, has helped me along the way within um, even when I was operating trucks because my attitude when it, when it all came down to it, when I drove off, if I saw this operator here turn around, I know I've done, I've done the wrong job. And I always wanted to make sure that when I tip it off, I tip it off ideally, in and out, so I can be one of the best operators possible I can be. And it also highlighted a great deal a lot more when I did get into the compactors and dozers pushing the loads out on how critical it is to have a good understanding for all the truckies within your team, to have an understanding of the best way to tip off in most common circumstances. So everything runs smooth, everything, everything just flows. And like my uh, production, uh, production coaching, what I like to focus on is the culture, is the communication within the team environment to try to minimise that, uh, that negative frustration in that and also create more of a, a team where everything just flows. So if, yeah, like I said, in the next few weeks I'm going to do some compactor operating um, videos as well and uh, if you're a truck operator, these might be ideal to have a bit of a listen to as well because they can give you an idea on um, some of the things that um, you encounter when operating that you haven't um, witnessed yet because you haven't had the opportunity to jump in those machines. So it's about, um, it's about uh, just sharing uh, life experiences and, um, and hopefully being able to help, uh, help people coming into the industry 
and um, just uh, smoothing everything out because uh, at the end of the day, I'm very positive on uh, smooth is fast and a really positive work culture because you want a great get great production out of a team. It does. It comes down to how well the team vibes together, the work culture, the leadership, the management, and um, and going forward from that. So. Thank you, and um, feel free to subscribe if you like. Uh, leave a comment um, if it helps. And um, yeah, thank you for your time.